Yo, what up guys and welcome back to another one. Me and Bubba today, we are getting at the pigeon trapping. We set the traps out, I don't know, probably a couple to few hours ago. We've been checking them all day long. This is our third time to the traps. We're headed that way now. But Bubba, he just woke up from a good old nap, didn't you, Bub? <laughs> he says, you want a chicken nugget? No, Bubba, we don't want your chicken nugget, okay? But it is a wonderful day. It's time to get Bodie out on some pigeon trapping, darn it. <clears throat> Mama and Sissy had to go to gymnastic practice, so I'm like, you know what, Bodie? Go to oh, you want to go to T-ball next? Yeah. Okay. I was like, come on, Bubba, let's go look at some pigeon traps, see if we got anything. So, so that's where we're headed to now. But a lot of you guys seen the last pigeon trapping video, and it was unfortunate. We lost us a blue bar, yeah. We lost us a feral pigeon in the spring trap. It was, it was, it was very unfortunate, but we made good use of that pigeon. We turned him into a tool for Fred. We played fetch with him. We did a lot of running drills with Fred and he loved it. He absolutely loves birds in his mouth, as you can imagine. I still have a lot of pigeons in the freezer that I haven't even uh, got out, thawed, and used for Fred yet. I froze like I don't know, it's like 10 or 15 pigeons just so I could use them for Fred. So, we're on the way to see the pigeons right now, aren't we, bub? You think we got anything? He says, uh, you just, here, have this french fry. <laughs> oh my goodness, we are here and look what we have. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, look at that. We got three of them in there. We got three pigeons in the trap. <laughs> Bubba, we got them. We got them, dude. Let's get out. Look at this. Come on, watch out. Let's move your happy now. Come on. Look what we got. You want to see the birds? Yeah. All right, come on. Come on, buddy. Let's go look. Come on. Look at this. Best trap, best set, best trap day ever. Three. We got two blue bars and one blue check. Oh my goodness. Bubba, look at that. Whoa. Look at him. We got him. How awesome is that? How awesome is that, Bubba? Are those birdies cool? Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. We're going to get the uh, bucket and we're going to get these bad boys transported here. Wow. Well, just goes to show right there. The more we have these traps out here, the more the birds are going to get used to them. Three of them. I guess it must have been the trick the way I set the wheat the last time. I just sprinkled it and sprinkled it real lightly right by the doorways, but a ton right inside the door and it worked. Oh, that's awesome. You can really tell that they're right here. They moved a lot of grain. All the wheat that I put right there is all gone. Isn't it, Bubba? Ooh, it's a hot one out here, isn't it, Bubba? Is it hot out here? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. Well, uh, that's where we're going to put the birds, Bubba. Hopefully, we can get all three birds in the bucket without any of them flying off on us here, huh, Bub? Oh, Bubba. Bubba. Oh, I got him. Got him. All right. There's one. Oh, Look at that, one. Bub. Look. How cool is he? You see him? Yeah. I'll oh, you pet him? Yeah. He's a nice there. bird. I'll put him in there. Put him in there. Yep. Now there's one. Oh, hold on. No, no, nope. hold on, buddy. Uh, <laughs> Bodie is just freaking out right now. He's loving it. Okay. All right, Bubba, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let's okay. Put him in there. All right, that's two. Hold on. Don't open that. Put that one. You want to hold that one? Yeah. Okay, let's hold him. Hold him. Yeah. I'm going to hold him. Okay. Here, Bodie. Bodie, want to hold that one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, is he pretty? Yeah. Yeah. Put him in there. Hold on, let's put him in there. There we go, watch out. Oh, we got them all three in the bucket. Good to go, bub. Good to go. I got them. We got them. That's awesome, huh? Awesome. There we go, we got all three in the bucket, ready to take them home, huh? Take them home. Yeah, we're ready to take them home. Oh guys, the bucket, I have a bunch of holes in it. A lot of good air can go in and out of the bucket, but I cannot believe we trapped three at the same time. That is wild. That was wild. 
wild. Yeah, that's wild. Well, got the old trap back out here. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time. I'm gonna take wheat. Now, back when I told you guys that I was waiting for wheat harvest to get this here wheat, I wasn't kidding. It works. These pigeons cannot resist it. Last time I took a handful and I put a trail out there like that and out there like that, a little more out there like that, and maybe just a little more for good luck, a little sprinkle to the trap. We're good to go. Insane, insane. That's exactly how I caught them. I caught them within an hour of doing that last time. As you can tell, I'm sweating bullets. It is hot out here. But check it out, here they all are. Check out all the birds here today. There is a ton. I mean a ton. So awesome. Oh, trapping pigeons is actually getting fun, y'all. It's hot out here, but it's fun. The pigeons are finally getting used to the trap. That is the ticket. But the game changer, I can guarantee you guys, is that wheat. Pigeons cannot resist wheat. They love it. It's hot out here, isn't it, dude? We just did a little bit of training, didn't we, man? And you are hot. You better go get a drink, Frederick. What do you think, dude? You excited for the new pigeons? Yeah. Yeah, bub. What's behind you up there? Check them out. Now, obviously, obviously our cage is a little small for this many pigeons now. So just to let you guys know, you guys got to stay tuned because we're going to be building our homemade loft here very, very shortly. But like I said in one of the last videos, we're going to be building the loft right here. And I need your guys' input on how to build that bad boy. Obviously, you can tell, man, they are very comfortable. They've settled way down. Bad thing is, without them being banded, I'm not going to know which one Clark was. I think he's this one right here, to be quite honest with you. But I'm not sure. Because now, we got two blue bars and we got two blue checks, don't we, Bubba? What are we going to do with all these birds, my little man? That was awesome, though. But what we're going to do here is we still have the traps out. We rebaited them, and we have to go check them here very, 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 very shortly, huh, Bubba? Or that baby froggy. You want to, oh, he wants to go catch baby frogs. That's what he wants to do, don't you? You want to go catch some baby frogs? Yeah. Yeah. It's very, it's very likely that we caught more today because they're hot to trot on the wheat and they loved obviously to catch three of them at one time. They absolutely loved the way I sprinkled it out there for them. Ate it right up. I couldn't believe it when we pulled up. Ah, it's been fun though. But like I said, I don't think, I don't know if we'll get to it on this video. We'll see how long we go here, but we're going to be building the loft literally probably tonight. What up guys? It is actually the next day and we had our first full overnight with all four pigeons. Now I know the cage is really small even for one night, but it was just one night. They're doing awesome. They're really comfortable together. Got a couple up on the roost pole up there just to chillin. But I also needed to give them some new food. Look at them, they're not skittish at all anymore. Seems like the more of them you get, the more tame that they'll be. Pretty much the more of them that you have, the more comfortable they're gonna be. They're gonna have buddies in there and that's what Clark needed for all that time. I've been trying to catch him a buddy for so long, we caught three. Just, I'm still, I am still shocked. It was me and Bodie, you know, I had Bodie along with me and uh, just three of them in one go. But today is a very, very, very busy day because they can't stay in that cage all together anymore whatsoever. And so today we are building the loft. What we're gonna do is we're gonna roll this video. We're gonna go to the truck stop, check the traps. If we don't have anything, we're probably gonna close this video, but you guys have to be expecting the next one to come is gonna be the backyard pigeon loft, y'all. I am excited. I have wanted a loft for so long. Not only have I wanted pigeons, but I've wanted to have my own loft for a long time. And uh, we have a special little loft that we're getting from Jordan. We're gonna have to fix it up a little bit, revamp it, make it nice. It's gonna be the Hilton for our four birds here. But you never know, let's go, let's go check the traps. We might have something in them. Oh. Oh, are you serious? Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, this is getting wild, y'all. Oh my Lord, what all's going on here? 
Oh my god! Back to back days! Oh! I cannot believe it! See, so again, I always say it every time we trap a bird here. It takes time for these birds to get used to the traps. Check it out. We're definitely going to need a loft now. Oh my word. Look at this. Look at that. Look, we got a dark guy. We got a black one. He is really, really dark. I don't think he's a blue bar. He's a black one there. We got another blue check and a blue bar here, but three more birds. Oh my goodness. And then look over here in the spring trap. What do we have? We have a juvenile starling trapped in the net. Let's help you out there, bud. You're not what I'm after. I know, we shoot starlings, Jordan and I, on the farms. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Easy. Easy. Let your head out of there. Let your head out of there. There you go, buddy. He gone. Well, 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 well. This has gotten very, very wild. We have now trapped seven pigeons. That progressed very quickly. We have trapped six pigeons in this video alone. It's really ramping up, y'all. The wheat is the key ingredient. I can tell you right now. Well, let's get them loaded up here. <laughs> if you guys are liking the pigeon trapping videos like I really hope you are, you have to smash that thumbs up button for me. You got to do it. I never thought it would get to this point. I've worked so hard just watching these birds and paying attention to them, watching how they feed, what they do and what they don't like, how much they like the traps and how much they don't. And I can tell you one thing, the biggest thing that I've learned, it's all about your food. It's all about your bait. What the animal wants, what they can't resist, what they gotta have, and how you isolate and use that food to your advantage. Oh man, getting rid of options is another big thing I've learned. I know, I'm going on a spiel. I'm happy. I'm ranting. Seven pigeons. Well, you guys know what the next video is going to be for sure. We're going to be building the loft today. Well, that's our first one. He's our blue bar. No bands or anything. He's a hair older than the other three, I think. And here... This is a really good looking blue check. Check him out. And this guy here is unique. This, this is a good looking guy here. Check him out. He's a black guy. Let me see you, dude. I don't know, it's kind of, I'm not, I'm not familiar with him. He's, he's very, very dark. Leave a comment down. Leave a comment down in the comment section down below. Let me know what he is. He's pretty. Nice black guy there. Unbelievable. Well, we got all the pigeons taken care of. I can tell you one thing. is how I'm uh, dispersing this grain, this wheat. It's obviously working. I mean, they're loving how I'm doing it. So we're going to keep doing it the same. I've been throwing it out there in a long trail like this. Me throwing it out there in a long trail like that. See, they land out there and they walk in. So you give them something that just guides them right in here. And then once they've consumed all that walking in here, put it right in that doorway, baby. Cannot believe this, honestly. It took so long. It took like two weeks to trap the first one. And now that I got weed out there, the game has just changed abruptly. It's all about food, y'all. Trapping is all about food. Food, 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 hunting, birds feeding, birds flying to this truck stop. It's all about food. They come here for food. So this has been awesome. I have been learning a ton on these pigeon trapping videos. And yeah, we let the starling go again. That's our second one we've let go. But I'm just not ready to uh, 
to house another species yet. One of you viewers actually dropped an awesome comment down in the comment section and described that you uh, you actually have a starling as a pet and it's really awesome. Makes a bunch of cool singing sounds and whatnot. Uh, and eventually I want to get there, but man, this pigeon, the pigeon trapping has ramped up so much. Now it's literally, I'm going to have to drop this video. I'm going to literally have to get a hold of Jordan and be like, hey bro, let's go pick up the loft. I need to get it set up. So next video will be the pigeon loft in the old backyard. So I hope you guys are enjoying these nearly just even half as much as I am making them. It's awesome. Thank you guys for being here. If you haven't hit that notification bell right down there, hit it right now. It'll notify you when these pigeon videos come up. But I want to thank you guys for being here so, so, so much. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this. Thank y'all. We will see you on the next one. Peace. Cause I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that.